Hello, and welcome to Functional PHP 7 by Pact Publishing. My name is Luis Atencio. I'm a cloud engineer at Citrix Systems with over 10 years of experience architecting web apps using PHP, JavaScript, and Java. I'm also the author of Functional Programming in JavaScript, which covers a lot of the concepts we're going to be discussing in this course, except tailored to the JavaScript community, RxJS in action, which combines functional and reactive paradigms, an open book called Functional PHP, available at LeanPub, which discusses a lot of the topics we'll be looking at in this course, several magazine articles for phparc.com. I've spoken at several conferences involving both PHP or JavaScript, and you can follow my writing at luisatencio.net. This course teaches you how to think functionally, and this involves understanding a set of principles and techniques that will help you wrap your head around functional programming in general. Some of these techniques can be very powerful as well for regular day-to-day -day development. Things like understanding the use of higher order functions and the closure data type, the benefits of pure functions and what that does to the testability of your application, understanding the differences between lazy and eager evaluation, the advantages of using recursion over loops, a very powerful technique called curry function application that also leads into functional composition. We're going to learn how to convert programs that use large monolithic functions that perform data I.O., have several if-then-else conditions or for each. In other words, they have a high level of complexity. Uh, they're done imperatively to a set of more fine-grained, smaller, testable components that give you a declarative style of coding and are very much piped in the same way as Unix programs are put together. You cannot have picked a better time to learn functional programming. Not only is it top of mind in the programming community, but it's also gotten very wide industry adoption by some companies that you might recognize. Also, platform manufacturers have understood the versatility that functional programming brings into the language, and so you see the emergence of functional features in Scala, in JavaScript, and in Java with a recent Java 8 update, Python, and many other languages that can't, ma mainstream languages that can be used functionally. Or you, you might just be looking for a, a, an alternative to OOP to solve some types of problems. Or maybe your motive is to just, just to enhance your programming and problem solving skills. Whatever it is, it's important to understand that PHP 7 is also a platform where you can, you can learn to implement all of these techniques as well. The functional PHP 7 course is very lightweight in terms of installation and setup. The most important requirement for this course is that you have PHP 7.1 installed on any operating system of your choice. It could be Mac, Windows, or Linux. A lightweight IDE would be a good idea, like Sublime or Atom, but you could always use PHP Storm if that's what you prefer. Also, Composer for dependency management, as we're going to be incorporating some of the functional libraries in the ecosystem. And most importantly, the desire to learn something new, as we're going to be approaching concepts from a completely new perspective. I wanted to quickly show you the composer.json file that we're going to be managing throughout the course. We're going to be using the PRAMDA library and the database library. This simple setup can be all provision through a simple composer install or composer update call. In our next video, we'll take a brief PHP 7 crash course. And there are two important topics that I would like to emphasize. The first one is PHP 7's static type mechanism. And that gives us the ability to create programs that are correct. And it gives us code correctness. And the second one is PHP's internal closure data type. And this is the root and the foundation for higher order functions. So let's begin this journey together, and I hope to see you there.